What you doing, Duke? All right, so Duke was on Facebook Marketplace and found a 1980 Cutlass to go look at. So it looks like it could be a, a pretty good flip. So we're gonna go check it out, see if things work out. If it's good enough, we'll bring it home. If not, uh, we'll move on to something else. Hey, look who it is. You know, I was nice and comfortable sleeping on that couch until she said, hey, I got to swing uh, back in the floors. <laughs> so it's not uh, my fault. Yeah, I was up. <laughs> Time to go. Yep, I ain't waiting until this weekend. Return of the living dead. Yep. Yeah, as soon as she said it was cleaning day, it's like, hey, hey let's go this morning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping this car isn't just a huge pile of shit. Yeah, no, I was looking at the body on it. It only seemed to hit that one little spot. On the right rear. Yeah, right rear. But then I was looking at the carpeting, and I was curled up. It was like, man, that looks like water damage. It, it could be. It could be. It could be. It's older than shit. What year was it? It's 80. Oh. Yeah, it's older than shit. I'm older than shit. <laughs> yeah, I asked him what all was wrong with it to give me like a rundown because all the he had a listing up before and it had like a whole paragraph or two about it and then the new one for the lower price only said doesn't run so i asked him what all was wrong with it and the only thing he said was the starters on the floor or there's a new starter on the floor so we might get lucky and it just needs to put the starter on or be starter could be wiring up some of the specs for it when it was new and it's a 260 v8 which is uh, i don't remember the size like 4.2 liters maybe hmm. and it made 105 horsepower wow <laughs> right screaming eagle out of a v8 i'd like to just get it running clean it up and then just drive it until it sells yeah i've heard that before i mean i think almost everything i've bought was intended to be a flip. Except for the RX-7. Yeah, that one's been around almost longer than the kids. I think it has been around longer than the kids. Yeah, it has been. Because I think I got that in 17. Yeah, I remember going up by Grand Rapids and Muskegon area, it seems like. That was the Datsun. The RX-7 oh, was from Detroit. Yeah, you're right, this Datsun. RX-7 was... Detroit somewhere. You sure? I thought the one we got in Detroit was a royal piece of crap. Well, we've got a few from Detroit. That yeah. red car was the... Yeah, one, one at that gas station. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. That went right straight to the scrapyard. Yeah. And then there was that Datsun that we looked at in the storage unit in Detroit. Yeah, yeah. That was real sketchy. With all the guys there. Yeah, we went to look at, I think it was a 74 260Z in Detroit. It was like 7 p.m., 8 p.m. Yeah. It was starting to get pretty dark out. And uh, we get there and it's in the storage unit all torn apart. And there's like three other people there looking at it at the same time. My first thoughts, them motherfuckers were all together going to just jump us with the money. <laughs> but... We had the dog and had a gun, so we yeah. were worried. We had a dog and a gun, not a dog with a gun. What years did you work at Oldsmobile again? I can never uh, remember. From 74 to 80... Had to stop and get gas. Got it for 276, which is insane. Everywhere else is like 319. Uh, we're a couple of minutes from the guy's house. Probably turn the camera off while we're there and uh, I don't know, try to.
turn the camera back on if something cool happens. Hopefully the car's not a piece of shit and we end up getting it. It should be right here, I believe. Yeah, there it is. Well, first impression's not bad. All right, we're gonna go check the car out. All right, just got the car loaded up. We're about to head out. And uh, the body's in pretty good shape, I think. There's one spot of the frame that's rotted, but I don't think that's any worse than the Jeep guys. We can plate that. Lloyd would probably get a hard on looking at it. <laughs> so we'll get it back to the house and get it unloaded and look at it some more. We just got back to Pops' place. We're going to get the car unloaded and get it in the garage, throw it up on the hoist. Because uh, we couldn't hear a run. Uh, the dude said he threw a battery in it and it just clicked. So he pulled the starter out, bought a new one, and it's just sitting on the floor. So we're going to get it up on the hoist, check it out a little more underneath because we crawled around underneath it as best we could, but I'm sure we didn't see some things. Uh, and then we'll throw a starter in it, throw a battery in it, and then see if it'll do anything. Here it is, and this is definitely the worst side of the car. What do you think, Duke? Oh God. Yeah, right here, as far as the body goes, is the worst part, and it's just the paint flaked off. Like, it's all still very solid. For a Michigan car, the body is in really good shape. And it does have, like, brand new tires on it. Yeah. And those rims are hard to come by with the beauty rings and all that shit. Yeah, when I sent the listing to John, he was like, if you get the car, I want the wheels. Yeah, and the fuckers, tires and wheels are worth more than the damn car is, really. Oh, 100%. I bet you tires alone, or tires and wheels alone over a thousand. Yeah, just those, yeah. just the tires brand new are 550. So yeah, this side is a lot cleaner. It's got some just like gentle dents, like the door and the fender. We should be able to pop out no problem. Back here is kind of weird. But yeah, we're going to get the car unloaded and in the garage, and then uh, we'll check it out more there. All right, just got it in the garage, and you can see, I don't know how it's going to look on camera, but in person, it really doesn't look that bad. I mean, there's the typical old age stuff, like this piece is cracked. I think the thing that I'm the most upset about is that this trim piece right here is gone. I think that's the thing that I'm most upset about. This thing is so solid. The only spot is up there in the corner, which I don't usually see it there. I usually see it right through here, but it is so nice. It's dirty, but it is solid. And then here is the mighty Olds 260. Yeah, 4.3 liter V8, making a whopping 105 horsepower, and the engine is turning over. Yeah, the body, as far as rust goes, is good. Like, there's that little bit that I showed you down there, and this pillar here, which those are both easy fixes. It's just got some dents on the other side. Well, stayed in one piece so far, so that's good. Yeah. I should have watched the door jams. Open the door, see what it does. I mean, good enough. Yeah, so there's only one spot of the frame that's actually rotted, and luckily it's back here, so it's nothing like structurally concerning, but this should be able to be plated, no problem. Yeah, summit. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Trying to get rid of that G-body lean, I guess. Look at these shocks. These are, I've never seen shocks like that. With the like spiral. Oh yeah. Good old Turbo 350. I wonder if just the parking pole inside it's ruined. Maybe the linkage at the shifter is broken. Okay. So it's the shifter up there then. Everything so far, doesn't really scare me. I mean, there's a couple inconveniences, like I thought we wouldn't have to do the floor, but that'll be an easy enough fix. Yeah. They might be on the seat up in it. I didn't look. There was there was like a a beanie full of nuts and bolts. It's weird because the body on this is in a lot better shape than the Monte Carlo, but the Monte Carlo has a better frame and floor. Old cars are weird, man. 
That's probably good. Oh, wait, what do we got here? I can't see, but I think I'm grabbing some stuff. Yeah, and then they started pulling the dash apart, man. That's the part that pisses me off the most is that they pulled the dash apart. <laughs> Door closed is pretty good. Nice solid thunk. So yeah, like I said, we'll get the starter in it. We should have a battery laying around we can toss in it. And then uh, eventually replace the brake line, fix the floor, fix that frame rail, find out what's going on with the shifter, why it won't. Like, well, honestly, I'd really be shocked if uh, this thing did even start. Because he bought it and it came with the motor, another motor. Now why would it come with another motor? Well, I think they were going to hot rod it, so they just wanted to get rid of the little 260. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's what I think. That's very possible. I've seen dumber things, because we've done it. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's a market out there for the 260 V8, but it can't be a very big market. So we're going to finish up putting the starter on, then we'll lower it down and put the battery in. Uh, hopefully it at least rolls over. If it rolls over, then uh, might try pouring some gas down the carb, see what it does. Eventually, I'm sure we'll take a look at the plugs. I don't know. I mean, this thing, this thing's probably only like eight to one compression. So if there's a spark plug in it, it should at least fire up. Ow! Ow. All right. Hopefully they fit. I don't gotta stretch them like hell. Ah, it's fine. Just set the battery on top of the valve cover. This pile's not gonna fire up anyway. Need a little bit longer fucking ground. Where's it going to? Just the block? Yeah, right there to the block. Nine sixteenths. Shit all right. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I gotta show you guys this too. So any of you guys who have watched the videos on the Monte Carlo know that I said many times I wish that car had manual windows. Guess what this car has? Ba 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 ba. And they are so smooth. <laughs> Look at that. I'm assuming we'll need the battery charger. Oh, that one won't reach anything? Might be able to reach the back of the alternator. Like where it bolts to the bracket. Never mind. It straight up will not. Oh, but it could reach here. Okay. What? Just pulling it there? The ground ain't even connected. The other light turned on. Uh, the body ground is this little one. Oh. Yeah. I was gonna say, how the fuck? Because <laughs> there was actually a light on the dash. Well, fuck yeah. What the hell did they do? Can you see if the shift linkage and everything's moving? What? If the shift linkage is moving. Oh, it's not even connected. Okay, that explains that. Because I'm moving this thing like crazy. Oh, yeah. Try to go up the park. There we go. Ah! Ah, stop. All right, well, cool. At least we figured out the shifter. I was, I was concerned about that. Because um, every all the linkage and everything under the car looked totally fine. Oh, no shit. Oh, and it's all intact, too. That's so sick. Yeah, dude. I was worried that those were gone, actually. So I think we're just about ready to see if it'll crank over. I don't like that the... Uh, Key is kind of tight though. That battery might not be enough. That was me. I turned the key off because, like, it takes effort to pull it back. Oh, I couldn't hear that. I'm gonna try it again. I need some more fluid. Let's see if I got any gas around here anywhere. No, I don't hear the knock.
cracking now. Yeah, I think it's just like the open platter for a little bit. Yeah, trying to get some oil pressure. Yeah, but it runs. Does it show any gas? Alright, that bitch is full. Yeah. Let's see if everything here is hooked up. Yeah. This thing's probably got 10,000 vacuum leaks on it. I wish it would run long enough to try and figure out where that sound's coming from. Because in the car, it doesn't sound like it's in the motor, but I can't hear it out here. Well, one good thing is it hasn't backfired, so it can always hold the gas thing right on there. <laughs> Fill it up and I can start it and you can sit and listen. All right, this is when it's gonna backfire. What? I said this is when it's gonna backfire. That ignition's kind of sticky. It might be. Let me hear the idle though real quick. smoke ourselves out yep motor got a rod yeah at first i was thinking we might be lucky and it's just a lifter but well shoot but at least we got it running yeah it looks like that's going to do it for today's video so i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for watching um not really sure what we're going to do with this just yet the plan currently is still to fix it up and flip it um but you know now we got to do something with the engine like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. We'll see you next time.